Uh, my name is Levi Kiefer. I'm the driver of the number 74 Sport Mod. So Sport Mod is a, it's a Chevelle clip manufactured usually by a company like Victory Circle, Rage Chassis. I mean, there's hundreds of different manufacturers and they build the chassis to the specs of uh, the class we race, which is IMCA. It's a three link suspension, um, stock front suspension, um, with multiple you know engine combinations that we can choose from. So the rear suspension rules uh, a three link suspension, 16 inch minimum bars, so they can't be any shorter than 16 inch on both sides. And then uh, at right height, the car can't be more than one inch out of square from right to left. It keeps you from pushing the rear end way back or forward on one side for you know different things that people like to try. They made a rule where it's one inch now to try to keep everybody as close as they could be. And then you have a solid pull bar on top, which controls your wrap on your rear end, forward and back. And then you have a panhard bar, controls the rear ends from moving side to side. And all the different angles of every one of those is what makes the car turn, react, pick up, set down. You know, that's kind of how the, the car gets around the track because that's how you um, make it, things work. That's your options on, you know, how you like your car to react to different things. So we have the, um, crate rule which is a 602 crate which majority of people are on it's a 602 gm crate motor it's usually around 350 horsepower and we get to run a 654 barrel holly on that option the other option is a nine to one 360 cubic inch max built motor and on that option it has to be a holly 500 cfm two barrel we run a three speed saginaw three speed it's got to be steel um, seven and a quarter inch double or triple disc clutch with hydraulic throughout bearing. Um, all the forward and reverse gears have to work. They cannot be lightened. And then we run a nine inch forward rear end full floater with floating axles. And then it's gotta be a nine inch third member. It can't be lightened and it must run a mini speed. The biggest challenge of Sport Mod is uh, it's kind of a beginner class. So the drivers out there are usually beginners, new to racing, a lot of them. Some of them have some experience in the lower classes, but. You move up to this class, it's more horsepower, the cars do a lot more. So it's tough because you get a, there's a lot of wrecking involved. It's tough to miss the wrecks because there's so many fast cars and everybody's going at such high rate of speed. And then actually the setup on these can be kind of tough too because shocks are huge, um, springs, um, the things you do with your bars, the things you do, with, you know, how you drive it with the brakes, all that makes such a big difference that some of the guys are really, really fast. Some of the guys are a little squirrely, so it makes it interesting trying to get through the field. So these sport mods are IMC sanctioned and they run all over the country, but for local racing, uh, Bakersfield Speedway, Merced Speedway. Um, occasionally they run at Ventura. We used to race a lot at Santa Maria, but Santa Maria is kind of closed up now. But the sanctioning body is probably the largest sanctioning body in the country. So anywhere across the country, you can take this car and go race any IMCA sanctioned track and be competitive and under the same rule package. We're on the, the tire rule is a Hoosier G60 IMCA stamp tire. Very hard compound, uh, very hard sidewall. There's, you can't do anything to it except for groove and sight. And they're made with a lot of plastic and rubber. So you, they're really hard to get traction. And I think that's the reason they run them is because that's what makes the field competitive is the tire. If you put these uh, these cars on a soft tire, you'd have the guys that uh, bigger wallets kind of just run away because then all that horsepower and that type of thing would make a difference. But with a hard tire, it kind of evens the field out. Thanks for watching the video. This is a quick look at a sport mod. We'll see you at the racetrack.